In this video I'm going to show you the first couple weeks, starting from when angelfish start to lay eggs, to when the fry are free swimming and big enough to be pretty independent. So you can see here, I've got a mated pair here that are very actively looking for some place to lay eggs. I've got some slate in the background over here. This is the preferred place to lay eggs but about one in every four batches of eggs they get a little bit confused and they decide that this Amazon sword plant is a better place to do it and they decide that because this is the kind of thing that they lay eggs on naturally when, when they're in the Amazon. So the males over there at the slate cleaning I think he's gonna decide that this is the best place but the female is just gung-ho on the plant this time. So they're probably going to start laying over there in a little while. This is the general behavior they'll start just very thoroughly cleaning absolutely everything in the tank looking for some place. So you can generally tell if you've got a pair if they're about to start laying because they start getting super territorial. So you can see the female down on the right, she's chasing the Placostomus away from the slate. There's just a very young Bristlenose Placostomus in here just to keep some of the algae bloom down. Uh, they are paying a lot of attention to the slate, they're spending a lot of time cleaning it. If I stick my finger in the tank to rinse off a piece of food or something, the male has started snapping at me today, trying to bite me to chase me away. So I expect that they will probably start laying in the next couple of hours, and I will see if I can't get that on film for you. And then I will be doing update videos for the next two weeks of development, probably, just so that you can follow along, see what to expect if you're going to be raising any of these on your own, uh, some of the tips and tricks, things that help, some of the problems that you run into, Unfortunately, I did miss them spawning. I had to leave for a little while and I came back towards the tail end and I couldn't get any good footage because it would have disturbed them and the male gets distracted by anything and starts forgetting to inseminate things. So that's all I've really got for this video. I'm going to go ahead and leave some of the extra footage I've got up because I know some people like to watch that and I find it kind of relaxing. So that's it for this and I'll see you guys next time.